Hello and welcome to PTZ Optics Live. Happy Wednesday. You may have noticed it's a different day than we normally go live. Our new show days is going to be Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. Thank you for joining us. Today we're talking about telemedicine and the power of PTZ cameras and video communication technology for healthcare. We're going to be demonstrating some of the really cool and innovative technology that is being used in telemedicine today. So let's jump right into it. I cannot wait to show you this awesome telemedicine cart that we have here. We're going to be doing a live demonstration today, uh, taking you on a tour of our office via a really cool telemedicine cart. Let's show them this awesome cart, guys. This is such a cool product here. You can see it here. This is from Howard Medical. And uh, we're going to give you a little tour of what this cart is show you how it's how and why it's so awesome for delivering telemedicine we have our ptz optics this is a usb 12x camera here and we're actually showing off a brand new version of a new camera uh, from huddle cam hd as well this is the huddle cam hd eptz camera that i just wanted to show off because it's really interesting for healthcare we're going to show it off today uh, and i'm really excited about it so this is the cart uh, recent evolutions in technology have really enhanced the way that uh, healthcare is being delivered today. And telemedicines can now uh, treat their patients via video conferencing. And these like conveniences and accessibility to healthcare have helped so many, uh, especially patients in rural areas without access to in-person medical facilities. So Howard Medical actually created this cart. They're really on the front lines of this emerging field and their telehealth products are rapidly transforming really the healthcare delivery system. So their telehealth equipment provides all-in-one solutions and they include the PTZ Optics cameras uh, inside of them. Yeah, we're really happy to have one of these in hands. Um, so this is a high care telemedicine cart. It's really an innovative solution. It's a mobile system and has a flexible design. It provides users the ability to communicate in kind of a customized way, meeting the needs of whatever the healthcare facility is. Uh, this high care solution also includes remote monitoring and remote management software. Some other cool things about it, it has a task light. Can you figure out how to put that on, Paul? There we go, task light. See that? <laughs> it has a one-touch height adjustment for both the monitor and the work surface. Yep, so you can see here, this is pretty cool. Check this out. So it's the monitor can go up and down. And the work surface can go up and down. So let's just zoom out a for little bit so they can see that. For doctors and nurses. For all doctors but also for the shorter nurses as well. Antimicrobial touch surfaces. Apparently that's supposed to transmit less germs, I suppose. Yeah, antimicrobial. It's got these cool adjustable steering handles. It also has steer assist, which is something you're gonna see in a moment. We're gonna go mobile with this and we're actually gonna be able to, it actually will assist the steering. So we're gonna steer this around our office and uh, look at a patient in our office that uh, is a college student that I think needs a little bit of uh, looking at. <laughs> Some other things that are noteworthy, a 270-degree wraparound cart handle, a negative tilt keyboard tray with a wrist rest and a keyboard light in case you're in a dimly yep, there lit There is a keyboard light here. A little keyboard light. Room. Rubberized foot rests. Oh yeah, these are, check, take a look at these wheels. Look at the size of these nice balloon wheels here so you can lock them quickly and easily. We could be like on QVC for these carts right now. I know, look at this. And it's totally mobile. So there's a battery pack in here and you can wheel it up anywhere you need to go. Obviously, these two cameras here are just for demonstration today. This is the one that generally is used and we're gonna show how doctors can use Zoom video conferencing and other software, including VC, to remotely control the cameras via a completely HIPAA compliant video communication software for telemedicine. So we're gonna show that off as well in this demonstration. Can't forget about these storage options too. Oh yeah, there's some great storage options here and uh, there's a ton of USB ports. Now these ports on the side right here, you can see these ports here actually allow you to add a whole bunch of other pieces of technology. Mike, I don't know if you can play that little video that showed all of the things that doctors use that you have here, but they plug in right here and then you can have 
uh, all you have an HDMI output, an SDI output, um, all these USB ports. And Mike, that one uh, like wiring diagram, the diagram one with the hospital, um, it'll, it shows all the different pieces of equipment that are used with these. So I want to show that really quickly. Um, so the hospital is kind of internet connected. And so they could be using an ultrasonograph, a tomography, could be using a, to a tonometer, a pulse meter, a glucose meter. Um, and it's all kind of delivered via one mobile technology. Because we know what all of those devices are. Yeah, I know what all of those are. Um, but you know what I mean. I mean, it's just, it's just a really cool interconnected world that we live in. And that's just one way that you can see how telemedicine is being delivered. So we're going to take you guys on a mobile tour with this cart. So you can kind of see how easy it is to steer around. And uh, we have a great little presentation of how our cameras from PTZ Optics are being used in healthcare. Uh, this is actually a uh, surgery center in Germany, right, Taz? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. This one's from our user group. Okay. Uh, PTZ Optics has a user group on Facebook, and a lot of folks, you know, share their applications. Share their applications. This is a doctor this showing on big screens cool here what they're up to. Uh, so image magnification there. You can see the students uh, learning how to do the advanced procedures there. We've had um, live surgeries done, and there are photos somewhere buried in our archives that I just cannot seem to dig up. Because you remember what I'm talking about, yeah. right? No, I remember It was that. so was cool. So if those. you're out there and you're watching this video and you're the one that sent us those pictures a long time ago, please resend because <laughs> they were awesome, and I'm always looking for them. So we're going to jump into a live demo because that's really what is fun and exciting about this show, and we do it a lot. We want to show what it's really like to use this telemedicine cart. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to give this live streaming backpack to Tess. Okay, I'm going to wear it And no, we are not medical professionals. So we don't truly claim knowledge of this equipment, but we'll do our best to show you what, you know, this type of remote medicine delivery is like. We can at least speak to our portion of it. We can at least speak to our portion of it. We certainly can, and it will definitely be good. Um, Do you want me to switch the let's feed? Let's go ahead and switch to our live feed. So this, in this way, we'll be able to take you guys to a little bit of a mobile look at what it's like to roll this cart around and see what it's like in the real world to roll it down tight hallways, get underneath doorways, and use this device uh, in, a, in a real space. You ready? So I did switch. Okay, great. So. And then of course, a presentation is coming after we do this demonstration about healthcare and you know what's going on in the industry. Uh, but we wanted to show this off in particular, kind of point it downward a little, because it's usually, there you go, that's better. All right, so here we go. You ready? This is an in real life live stream. We're gonna go IRL. Now, the first thing to note is that uh, you got to look at your camera height, obviously. It's so nice that we can take this monitor down a little bit and the workspace down a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that because lower our center of gravity. Now, I'm also going to turn on steering assist here. So that allows the, um, the wheels to really kind of come in handy. Now, you can go like this, but I actually prefer to kind of have those, those handles up a little bit. And with that steering assist, it, it's basically like power... Um, steering in a car and it's, it's just does it really, really nice. help it really helps it keeps it a little bit now our floor is not actually totally flat so certainly it not. shakes around a little bit um, but one of the things we're going to show you guys is remote camera control via zoom video conferencing so here we are rolling down the, the road here and let's imagine that our intern brian here is our patient so hi brian here we are, brian um, now, what we would do normally here is we would have the, the nurse, let's imagine I'm the nurse here, rolls this up, and they can double check everything on the monitor. We have Zoom video conferencing running here. Can you open up Zoom really quick, Brian? I don't have Zoom. You don't have Zoom? Uh, then just go to Are Zoom. Are you serious? U you don't have go Zoom? Go to Zoom.us and get it. It only takes a second. So what he's going to do is he's going to go to Zoom.us, and he's going to click Join a Meeting, and he's going to join... This is a video conferencing meeting. So in this scenario, are we pretending that Brian's at home? Um, yeah, we're kind of, Brian's actually doing two <laughs> things for us. One is he's pretending to be, uh, you, are you having internet issues? Yeah. Okay, so you're not going to be able to do that. That's okay. 
But what, I, what we will show you during this, this live broadcast is the ability to um, remotely control this camera via Zoom. So if the doctor obviously has internet access, can control this camera. Okay. So let's go ahead and roll back. Uh, we're going to roll them into the other area of our office because uh, I want to show the telemedicine area. Okay. Uh, because one thing to note. Please do not break the expensive healthcare equipment or cameras. All right, sorry. These these two are not strapped on, and uh, the top one is. I'll just bring that over here. We are going to show these cameras in a little bit more detail. Um, so. We're going to show this um, going through a doorway, because that's important. There's lots of doorways in hospitals, and uh, this is something I wanted to show. That and hope that it fits. It's nice, because this is kind of like a dimly lit uh, hallway, isn't it, Tess? It surely is a dimly lit hallway. So it's nice to have these task lights. This thing's got all the lights that you need. Here we go. Think I can do it? Can I make it through? without breaking anything. All right, I think we've made it. We haven't broken anything yet. And now we're in our more nicely lit streaming area. Um, for those of you who may have not seen this yet, this is our new streaming area. So I wanted to show this really quickly. This is our new broadcast and streaming area over here. Um, over here is our new eSports streaming area. Uh, we're going to have some really cool, really, really cool new eSports streaming stuff. This is our house of worship streaming area, and then this is our telemedicine area. Now, the Howard High Cart is a very, very awesome uh, space, you know, for acute patient care, long-term care, medication administration, emergency rooms, respiratory care, intensive care. So many different types of care can be delivered via this system. But we also have, like, more affordable kits that we have like our PTZ Optics producer kits, and you can build a cart on a budget if you need to. It's not going to have all of the great things that the Howard cart has, but if you're on a budget, we're going to be making, and if you want us to make a video about this, uh, let us know in the chat and in the comments, because we just built this one to see how affordably can we make like, the most affordable cart with two monitors. There's an Intel Nook i7 processor here and a, bat, uh, a power. It doesn't have an un uninterrupted power supply, so it can't go completely mobile. You have to plug it in, but it's a lot less expensive, so just something to think about. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and roll back to our space, and then we'll, just, we'll demonstrate the Zoom video conferencing uh, layout, and we'll go there. Okay. Who's okay, joining right. you? So uh, I think Brian finally got his internet connection. Here we go. Now, you know what that was? That was our, inter our, our internet uh, over here. We have different Wi-Fi's. Oh. So the Wi-Fi dropped for a second there. Now it's back. There we go. Can we make it? Hey, can we make it through? We gotta get to those patients. Um, and I'm so glad we're doing this. You know, this is, it's a time, it's a time in an age where, you know, healthcare is so, more important than it's ever been. Um, Zoom video conferencing, I'm so happy to be showing it. They have re removed their pricing, uh, their, their, their limit. Their, for their free version. For the free version of their software in China to help the affected areas of China dealing with the coronavirus outbreak. And, um, you know, they're doing what they can to try to help the affected areas. Uh, and the coronavirus now is here in the United States. So it's something that we want to take seriously and maybe focus a little bit more on telemedicine tests. Um, because of how important, you know, healthcare really is in this world. It's a scary around. time. So, over here, one more second, and then we're going to switch. Oh, okay. Uh, really quickly, last thing I wanted to show, if you can come real close here, I want to show the back. So, this camera here, this is our PTZ Optics 12X USB camera. It's connected just via USB 3.0, okay? So, Zoom, that's all it needs is a USB connection to control the camera. The other camera that we're showing, we're probably going to get in trouble because this is a brand new camera. It hasn't been released yet, but we wanted to share it with you guys because I don't think we're getting too much trouble. Maybe we will. This is the Huddlecam HD EPTZ 4K USB webcam. And this camera is really cool. Again, just a single USB connection. The reason why I'm showing it today is because it's really nicely designed for healthcare because it can be 
put right on top of here. And just because it has a 4K image sensor doesn't mean you have to use a 4K image. You can actually use electronic pan tilt zoom to zoom in three times without loss. We're going to go ahead. Are you going to switch? I'm going to switch back. You have Easy Live open too. Okay, here we go. Boom. All right, so we switched back. Test, it takes a minute, so just keep it up um, just in case. And we're going to switch back to our main scene here. Okay, so we're switched back. Now, there's one other uh, telemedicine camera that I want to show off really quickly. Uh, before we do our live demonstration of the Zoom video conferencing remote camera control and our awesome presentation that we have. But I think some, a lot of people like to see what's going on. So let me show this camera off. This is a, another brand new camera from PTZ Optics. This is what we call a Z cam. So it just has Zoom. It doesn't have pan tilt. But these cameras, are they do, this does have digital pan tilt. So it's a really nice camera. It has two SDI connections. And one of the reasons why this camera is so popular for telemedicine specifically is because there's two SDI connections. So one uh, is the wide angle view. This is a very wide angle camera. And then the other is the electronic pan tilt zoom output. So for many surgery recording systems, they take two SDI inputs. One always captures the entire wide angle scene and the other gives doctors either remotely or anyone in the in the area the ability to zoom in digitally again a 4k image sensor but using it for 1080p 720p even 576 resolutions uh with digital pan tilt zoom which is absolutely instantaneous and we're going to show that off today uh with this uh system right here so i've got the system it's right here right this is the the mobile cart right next to me and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how it works. So first of all, I have Zoom connected here. So uh, let's show the Zoom video conference uh, view, which is right here. This is Zoom video conferencing, and it's connected to the telemedicine cart, all right? So pretty straightforward, I think. Uh, makes a lot of sense. And what I'm going to do is, this is very simple. A lot of doctors do this, is I'm going to right-click on Zoom, and that is going to open up an option to um, basically, here it is here, request camera control. Ralph, this will answer so your question. So I'm going to go ahead chat. and request camera control. Now on this side, so this is the um, the telemedicine card here. You can see a little a little di uh, dialog box has opened up, and it says Paul Richards is requesting camera control. Um, so this is you know a HIPAA compliant system. You have to request access uh, for things like this. This is just a security protocol, and boom, I just approved access. Now when I do that, okay, what that allows me to do is have full PTZ control over the camera. So in this scenario, Paul is sort of representing the medical provider and the patient. So, so obviously on one end is the provider and the other end is the patient. Exactly. And let's show that Zoom uh, full screen again. So I can show that we have these buttons here, right? So I have these pan, tilt, and zoom buttons that I can use to, and I'll, um, I just wanted to show a zoomed in view, but I'm going to zoom out now so that we can really see it full screen so that we now have full PTZ camera control um, and we can actually zoom in and out and do a bunch of great stuff. Now this camera here is actually this uh, EPTZ camera. So I've got two cameras here. Uh, we have our PTZ camera and our EPTZ camera. So I want to show the difference off today. So here is our, e our PTZ camera. Oh, got a... Uh, Close this really quickly. Here we go. So here's our PTZ camera. So I want to show that off first. Okay. So here's a, P a PTZ camera, right? You can zoom all around 
that we can really zoom in quite a lot. So we've got full PTZ controls. We can zoom in all the way. Now this connection is Wi-Fi because it's totally wireless. So, you know, it could be a, maybe a little better uh, resolution. Uh, zoom probably is scaling it a bit because it's on Wi-Fi. Mm. Um, but there's like the full PTZ control, right? Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now we'll show. Now I also have the ability, by the way, up here, if you can see at the top of the zoom button here, I have the ability to switch cameras. So I'm going to hit that switch camera button, and now I've switched to the EPTZ camera. But again, <laughs> look at look at how nice you have the ability to pan, tilt, and zoom with a camera that starts at just $4.99. So we're really excited about the new HuddleCam EPTZ camera uh, for remote pan, tilt, zoom. It has a very wide angle shot, and it does support PTZ presets. So again, just demonstrating the difference between an EPTZ camera and a PTZ camera. Uh, PTZ cameras are always going to be more expensive because they have the robotics and the optical zoom and all that. This is a 4K EPTZ digital camera. Both are connected over USB. Both are bringing USB connectivity into Zoom where we give doctors and, and folks remote pan tilt zoom control, whether it's electronic pan tilt zoom or robotic pan tilt zoom those are some great options will for the new cameras be telemedicine at delivery yes they will definitely be at nab and they will so be here here. if we are saying ndi we are uh, actually referencing ndi hx this is the ndi version of this camera the ndi version just has ethernet just has poe right and then this version here that we were just using this is the USB version. Now, when it comes to NDI, uh, if you want to bring that into a Zoom video conference call, you would use a uh, software for Windows only, which is called the Virtual Input. And that does not support UVC control. UVC control is what Zoom uses for pan tilt zoom. Now, uh, the last thing I'll do, Mike, while you're there, just go ahead and zoom into that, that PTZ camera. And I'll just show you guys how smooth this camera is with operations for a doctor uh, when it comes to pan tilt zoom. Uh, that is directly through zoom. So you have the ability to control the camera and zoom in and out really, really nicely, very smoothly. And this is over the public internet, right? Anywhere in the world that remote specialist or doctor could be and they have the ability to very quickly and easily look at the patient, see what they're doing, and you know, have the ability to get in more detail about you know, what's going on in that patient room. Because they remember, telemedicine is delivered remotely, right? Mm -hmm. Bringing those specialists to rural areas specifically. Yeah, I think, what my, I think the patient would actually often be on the telemedicine cart side at their local family practitioner in a rural setting mm -hmm. who are then reaching out to a specialist who's viewing what's happening um, yeah. on the other side of Zoom. A lot of um, you know, rural or even small hospitals uh, just don't have access to the specialists on staff. And that's where telehealth and telemedicine and the whole healthcare system is being transformed by allowing people to connect. And uh, this is where we'll start our presentation. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about what's going on. I did want to mention that our last show on Monday was really a cool one. It was about the power of live streaming, but also video conferencing. And that was on our Stream Geeks channel on Monday. I just wanted to share that really quickly. What a great little uh, show that was. And uh, it is relevant today because it helps businesses and any corporation organization understand how do we communicate with live streaming and video communications over long periods of time. So that, that, that was one thing I wanted to show. Now, uh, healthcare is growing. Uh, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, healthcare employment is expected to grow 14% mm. over the next uh, 10 years. And that, that's, a, that's quite a bit. Uh, healthcare spending is expected to average 5.5% growth annually, again, over the next 10 years, to nearly $6 trillion by 2027. So growth of 5.5% per year, and reaching nearly $6 trillion in the United States alone. 
Healthcare and telemedicine is up 53%. So te telehealth is a segment of healthcare in general. It's growing faster than any other place of care. 79% of patients say telemedicine follow-ups is more convenient than in-person. And that's from the Massachusetts General Hospital. Well, that's for sure. Now, who can, who can argue with that? Um, HIPAA-compliant telehealth technology is fairly new in the grand scheme of things, but it's so important because it reliably delivers consistent clinical user experiences seamlessly with your technology and also stays consistent with the level of security and um, trust and, and information uh, with uh, healthcare systems that, that you would expect. That they require. Now, we mentioned this briefly that Zoom lifts the limit on free version of, of uh, their service in China amid the coronavirus outbreak. So we're very excited that, that Zoom is doing that. And we're looking for ways that our company can do more. Uh, we do have a, a giveaway today um, and we're thinking about doing some more stuff. So we looked at this telemedicine cart in detail. What a great little cart. Uh, Protexta Healthcare also uses PTZ Optics cameras in their flagship Rita, the remote intelligent telehealth assistant. And there are many, that almost many looks more. Like it, has ears. it does look like a funny little cart, doesn't it? Yeah. What a funny little cart. All right. So the last live demonstration that I wanted to do is I really did want to show you guys the view of the um, telemedicine cart from the camera as, as we go. So what I want to do is I want to um, bring up what we call a vMix call. And I think this will be really interesting for folks to see. This is a vMix call. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So you got it, Mike? No. All right. Oh. Oops, there we go. Okay, cool. Go. All right. So I want to show you guys this. So I want to show you guys the view. This is from the telemedicine cart. Now you're seeing kind of what I'm seeing as we are remotely going around. So this is what it's like to operate a telemedicine cart and have a doctor on the far end. So I just wanted to show this. I'm just going to go down the hallway a little bit and then Dr. I'm going to come Paul. back. Dr. Paul's coming to uh, save the day. Um, here, we go. here we go. All right. So again, just this is kind of what it might be like from a doctor's perspective. A nurse is going down the hallway. Let me turn on. Oh, my steering assist is on. Okay, good. Doctor's going in the hallway. Maybe, maybe they're going into a patient room. I'll pop into this patient room over here. Um, and let's say, now this is just kind of goofy, but we'll say, all right, here we go. We've made it to the patient room. Hey, doctor. Um, you know, the patient, I'll just say the patient's sitting in this, in this chair here. Let's zoom in on the patient. The patient's right here. And then, you know, there's a, there's a speaker phone so that they can hear you properly. And then the doctor is able to, you know, uh, you know, let's say there's something wrong with my ear. The doctor is able to zoom in on the ear really nice and closely and say, okay, I can see what's going on. I, I, and now the background's a little off, but you, you get what I'm saying. Uh, generally, they probably won't have a geometric background like this. Okay, so wanted to show that and uh, give you an idea of what that looks like from the perspective of a nurse, from the perspective whoops, of a doctor uh, using a mobile cart like this. And this is all over Wi-Fi. So, you know, a lot of healthcare and, and uh, systems have really, really rock solid uh, Wi-Fi systems in place. And I just think it's really great. Well, we know pricing for the new huddle cam. So they start at four ninety nine, and I'm sure there'll be more information provided on those at NAB and following. They're not shipping yet, of course. Important to note. Okay, so we're gonna do a very quick podcast giveaway, and uh, the giveaway. We'll do the giveaway right now. We'll do the giveaway now. So let us know that you are in the chat because you must be in the live chat and claim your prize there to win a chance to spin the wheel for a free camera and some other fun goodies. Okay, great. Let me jump right into here. I definitely want somebody to win. If there's any questions, Tess, let me know. I'm happy to answer them now. It was a little bit of a uh, crazy show today. <laughs> Ralph on Facebook had asked earlier, uh, can you control them remotely? But we demonstrated after that question. So hopefully that helped. Alex Wilhelm. 
Alex Wilhelm, and I'll, I'll pop these into the YouTube chat so we can show them up on the screen. Um, Alex Wilhelm. Remember, we will be going live on Wednesdays now, so that's when the giveaways will be drawn. Yes, I apologize uh, if you didn't get the memo, but we will. I'm going to pull like three or four winners just so we can get this rolling. If you're here in the chat, let us know. Say hi so we know who is here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just keep pulling winners. Patrick Browning from Ontario. How's it going, Power Jams DJ? Greg Eisen is here. I'm going to keep pulling winners. We're going to pull like 10 winners. Hopefully someone's here and then we got to get to that podcast test because I am busy today. Okay. Eric Ballow. The ND1 Jesse is Wack the same is price, here. but assume no license. It No, it, it is the same price and it does include the license. Need an emergency tissue. Pardon me. I, I hope you guys don't mind us randomly introducing new products with very little explanation. Um, but I just think that's kind of fun. And that way we don't break all of our rules about who's get to knows what. Joe Farinola, Nicholas Filer. Just going to po keep popping winners here into the chat room. Let us know if you're watching and uh, we will spin the wheel for you. Here we go. Nicholas Camel. Hi, Remy. Hi, Raymond. Hi, Greg. Okay. So we keep popping them in here. Let me check. I don't know who you've been saying. Spyros D. Dimos from Greece. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going at it. I'm picking a lot of winners because I want to get through the winning. Hey, William. Ricardo Minnelli. Hey, Riley. Hey, Kenneth. Hi, Jesse. We did just change our show time to Wednesdays at uh -huh. uh, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. So we'd love to Tucker Orton from Kansas City, Missouri. Get somebody. I think we might have thrown some people off with a new show time. Yes. And anytime we know from being streamers that you make an adjustment like that, it takes time for people to acclimate. Alex uh, Rossman is here. Yes. The oh Christopher Kaiwell. Yes, the new cameras are on the website. So that does uh, that, that's true. They are on the website and they were announced via uh, the price list. So you know. Uh oh, we're getting in trouble. I just saw that. Chris, are you here? Chris is always here. David Farto. Raymond's here. All right. Raymond's here. Okay, Raymond. Are you ready? Yay. Here we go. All right. I'm going to spin it because I don't want to wait. One, two, three. Here we go. What is it? A camera light. Okay. Ooh. You win a camera light. We're going to send you a light for a camera uh, for your streaming setup. Okay. Here we go. We're going to the podcast. We've only got a little bit of time. We're going to rock and roll. It's going to be a lot of fun. Stick with us if you want to do that. Mike, switch to this baby, and I'll take people to the podcast room with this because it'll be fun. All right. Well, that's not going to be a quick trip. <laughs> Here we go. Are you coming, Des? Yeah, I'm coming. All righty. Would you be able to bring my water? Which is right here. In this random pile of technology that was used at least once. Hopefully many, many times before. I, I'm, I figured this would be a fun way to take you guys to the studio. Oh my goodness. Ryan, can you take these cameras? I'm worried they're gonna like fall off. Just put them, put them on the podcast studio table, so we can talk about. Oh, can you open that door a little bit? All right, here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this so people can see a little better where we're going. Here we go. This is not the way you're supposed to use telemedicine cart. I'm doing it anyway. Go. 
The telemedicine cart will be our fifth guest. Well, we just might, won't we? We'll have to see. Post show podcast. Loud, huh? Super excited to be live streaming with all of you today. I like to transition to the podcast. Like it gives me new energy. It my, does. For my it's a whole new vibe over here. Definitely feel more comfortable. For those of you listening, we are always streaming before we come to record this podcast. Oop de doo, doop de do. Yes, Tucker, all only right. one winner. Yeah, just one winner, um, and we'll send over that winnings that you have. Congratulations! We always have a winner every Wednesday now, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. I'm gonna get started because I got to pick up my son up soon, okay. and so I know Michael's coming. What are we talking about today? We're talking about healthcare and telemedicine. Okay, a little bit about the coronavirus. No. My goodness, I know it's scary. All right, you ready? Somebody's saying no audio. No audio, Mike. No audio. That can't be right. Let's wait a second then. Mike, there's someone saying no audio. Did you fix that already? Yeah, let me double check that. Okay. Um, maybe someone in the chat can let us know that maybe they can't hear us. Yeah, we need more people to clarify. Why don't okay. I just unmute my... No. We're good? We have audio. We have audio. We're okay. good. All right. Sorry about that, Mike. I just sent him on a wild goose chase for no reason. Okay. One, two, three. Hello and welcome to the Post Show Podcast. Today we are talking about healthcare, telemedicine, a little bit about the coronavirus outbreak, and a little more. Welcome to the Post Show Podcast with your hosts, Paul Richards, Tess Protesto, and Michael Luttermoser. Let's talk shop. Welcome, everyone, to the Post Show Podcast. We are live and recording this podcast. Uh, the, for the podcast listeners, uh, you can't see this, but there is a giant telemedicine cart at the head of our podcasting table making our fourth podcaster. She's yeah, not going to be saying much. We but have a special guest I feel like today. we have to name her, even though uh, Howard Medical is Hold the up. manufacturer Sorry. here that creates this awesome telemedicine this cart. Uh, it has a keyboard tray. Well, it has micro. It. What is it? Me. Micro. Microbial. Microbial workspace. Microbial workspace. Uh, it's it's like adjustable. There's a PTZ optics camera on top, and we just showed today in our live show how doctors can remotely control this camera, zoom in on patients, get a feel for what's going on, and deliver telemedicine with technology that truly is game changing. Which is crazy in today's day and age and really kind of practical at this point. It is, you know, like video conferencing, you know, like Zoom video conferencing, which everyone's talking about, was built for business presentations. You know, it started with screen sharing, a little bit of video, face-to-face mm -hmm. -face meetings, how can we be more productive? And then they took that tool and said, hey, you know, this revolution is happening globally where everyone's meeting and Skyping and they FaceTiming. Got a new application. And yeah. they're like, how, how can we help doctors use this? And, uh, you know, then they built in tools like PTZ camera control. We started getting involved, our, our company PTZ Optics. And um, now here we are with a, what I think is like a $20,000 medical cart. It's, it's got a battery inside of it. It's got lights. It's got uh, a keyboard tray that goes up and be down. A monitor. Thing. I know. It's, it's a beautiful little device, really. It's not even little. It's huge. Better get free healthcare. I know. This thing's like <laughs> healthcare for years, right? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> so um, in the backdrop of all of this, uh, the CEO of Zoom, Eric Yuan, who's been on a wild ride with his stock prices that have just doubled in the past you know, six months, really amazing stuff. Six um, weeks, even. Past six weeks, ever since the coronavirus, really, outbreak in China, uh, video communications have just become incredibly important. Uh, CNN wrote down uh, in a major uh, headline that we're, we're living through the world's largest work-from-home experiment. Mm -hmm. That's correct, yeah. Because China went on their, um, their 
their holiday, yep. right? Their, their new year, which is usually like a week or two. Mm-hmm. Uh, it extends, you know, long weekends. It's about two weeks. End of February. And then yeah. at the end of February. And then uh, the government said, we need an extra week. Which like, is kind of we, perfect timing, though, by the way, for the Chinese New Year this year. Yeah. Because they it, were it, dealing it, with you know, the health crisis. Well, it, yes and no. Actually, I would say no. And here's why. Mm. During the Chinese New Year, massive amounts of traveling happen. Everyone okay. travels home. Yeah. Sure. And so that was actually horrible timing uh, because everybody went everywhere. I see. It's a pretty big bum out because you have like this only this is the only amount of time you're like allowed to travel. Like it's yeah. like only amount of time like you have off from work and like no one was allowed and to go. Everyone's on lockdown. Yeah. So it's like a huge bum out. So and tying this back to the Zoom thing, and so so Eric Yuan said we're going to lift the, the the limits on our product, and make it free in China amidst the coronavirus outbreak, which is such a great great thing. Uh, Eric Yuan, I believe, is Chinese, um, so it's, he's really supporting his you know his culture and his background, but also just a really a great thing for his company to do. Zoom is not just used for doctors with telemedicine; that's great, yeah. but it's also used for like training, and they were showing that. They are actually helping to train counselors who can help from first from a psychological perspective mm-hmm. with the folks in the Wuhan province who are going to need some extra help, not just doctors in hospitals, but you know psychologically. You know this is have major impacts on the healthcare system there, and so Zoom is helping to train folks. They were saying that they had over three hundred thousand people trained on Zoom just since the corona outbreak mm. um and like just thousands of millions of hours of, of accrued time more people have joined zoom video conferencing in the past two months january and february of 2020 than all of 2019 so this is just a massive time for video communications and that's why we decided to do our show today on telemedicine specifically and so here me and tess are with our telemedicine cart which we rarely get out of the closet right i mean it usually just sits over there it sits in our telemedicine Uh, we have a telemedicine area and we show it off from time to time but we don't normally like take it out and say you know let's use this baby and uh, give it a go so here it is here and it's a beautiful telemedicine cart, um, and we took it on a ride. It actually has steering assist, which really helps, by the way. So I guess what steering assist does, as as you're a nurse, you know, you're going around the hospital, and you're moving around, and you're, you know, doing your thing, and you're getting from A to B. You turn that steering assist on, and it just kind of like helps with when you turn left, it pushes you a little just more. Just like left in a car. Exactly. If that gets disabled, turning your wheels like. Ugh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It makes it harder. So this is this is supposed to be easy, and then also, you know, it's also very good for uh, working at night. So a lot of a lot of uh, nurses have night shifts, mm-hmm. and the things a lot of people forget about night shifts is that the lights have to be dim because people need to get their sleep to heal. So usually these nurses are working in the dark or near dark situations. So you can see how they have a task light. You can't see um, if you're a podcast listener, but we can tell you. Yeah, we'll tell you because you can't see this, but there's a task light, there's a keyboard light, yep. there's a storage light, and all of these lights help them do their job. Um, and they even have like a locking, they even have a locking cabinet that I think has a password on it. So you can like lock things in there and like have it unlocked. They have just also for... all kind of tech, like inputs. They have USB 3 inputs. They have something that I don't know what it is. There's an HDMI, I know, and I think there's like a composite. Yeah. Oh, there's, that, still... there's Ethernet, and then there's that, a thing that looks like. That is for like medical devices that can be powered okay, on. Okay, so connected. maybe mm-hmm. it would be like an ultrasound thing plugs yeah. into it. Or, or... or what's the uh, like uh, blood pressure? Blood yeah. pressure yeah. thing. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Because you need, with, 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 with a system like this, what gives it its power is, well, besides the physical mm-hmm. uninterrupted power supply, which gives it its power, but what makes this so powerful is all of those, div- those USB ports on the side can be attached to different devices which can then go into zoom video conferencing and so the remote doctor can see exactly what is the glucose what is the cool. blood pressure whether it's another imaging device or mm-hmm. something like that all kinds of different imaging devices um you know there's ones to see an, uh, an eye up close and to be honest some of these tools are so great and they're so affordable um, like I bought one just for the heck of it uh, a while back when we were doing a, another telemedicine thing like two years ago. I bought like an eye magnifier thing. I don't even remember what it was called. 
and it was like a hundred bucks and it plugged in USB. I'm sure, the carts are not it. The carts are not affordable. No, they're <laughs> they're they're for hospitals to buy. So maybe for hospitals. Mm -hmm. For hospitals, it's a drop in the bucket, and and it's this so valuable. An and product. they need things that are a HIPAA compliant, and that's mm -hmm. a compliancy thing that you know keeps their standards up to a really high level. Um, you know, it's antimicrobial. All the things that it is is not cheap to build. The cameras it, are a small portion of the price of, of yes. these cards. And the PTZ optics awesome. cameras have been really popular in telemedicine. Uh, it really makes me happy that our company is helping with this awesome technology transformation in the healthcare industry. It's a really different application for us, but a really unique one and, and kind of a special one. It really is, and I, I hope that we can do more, and we're trying to find out as a company, especially during the corona out, uh, coronavirus outbreak, what can we do more to support our friends in China and uh, everywhere else in the world as well. Here, no. um, so one thing we're doing right now is obviously education. We're making it the topic of our podcast. We're making it the topic of our show. We're doing better to uh, you know, educate folks who might be using Zoom video conferencing for telehealth. How does it work? What are the options? Uh, we have some of the most affordable healthcare solutions for cameras specifically. So that helps just that we're here developing affordable technology for healthcare. Um, but we're trying to do more. And so if anyone has any ideas, want to reach, reach out, um, ways we can help, um, we're trying to figure out. Like Zoom was able to lift, yeah, you know, basically make their product free amidst this outbreak, which is just is incredible. Um, and so I'm just so happy for them. I wonder if there was something like that that we could do, you know. So... That's really the topic for today. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, we did end up showing some c products from our sister company, HuddleCam HD, which are really going to uh, play well in the healthcare industry. These are 4K uh, EPTZ cameras. And these 4K EPTZ cameras are super cool. Uh, there's a new tech NDI version and a USB version. They do work with Zoom video conferencing when it comes to uh, remote pan tilt zoom control for doctors and folks who want remote PTZ control. Um, so it's just a just a fun way, and this was just a, such a fun show. We we took people on two different uh, live tours with the telemedicine cart, um, and I hope that our show has a lot more action. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I've been I've been learning. I'm, it I'm writing. Had movement today. I'm writing a new book. I'm not going to say what it's about because I don't want people to know yet. But one of the things is about having an awesome event and how do you do that? And it starts with like enticing someone, getting their attention, right? Then it comes to like focus. Like, all right, so you've got their attention. Now can you get them focus? And then it's like education, entertainment. But through that process, you want to have like a climax, and mm. you want to like go to all the way to the climax, then you want to have an exit, mm. right? Then you want to exit the scene. And the point of a good exit, you've heard like making an exit, right? Yep. Like the point of making a good exit is that like you actually extend the moment and make it memorable. Yes. So when that exit happens and it's like, poof, Houdini disappears or whatever, you're like, whoa, everything that I just saw is like cemented into like a chapter of your brain and you're like, whoa. But then... I want bef as soon as you exit, you also want to like extend and prolong for as long as possible, and you want to surprise and intrigue. Mm -hmm. And so, with that process, that's like what the podcast does. Like we make our exit out, but like the climax happens in the show. So like the climax was like Tess and I going around and moving around, and it's mobile, and it's like what happened. And like you do want to have like an element of surprise too, and mystery, and possible like uh, conflict. And drama. So, like, the drama is like, oh, no, Paul dropped the camera. Like, is it going to break? You know, like, is it okay? Like, people like that. that that's, like, intriguing. It's like, oh, something's wrong. It could happen. Um, or, like, am I going to hit the wall? Is this thing going to make it through the, the door? You know, like, that's the drama. Uh, but then, you know, folks want actual education, edutainment, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then the exit and then the, uh, the prolonging of the um, – really the found and I, I'm, I'm forgetting some of the words but essentially there, there's a book called the experience economy mm -hmm. doing a lot of research with that so that's how we got to here and that's why we're going to be doing a lot more like that's why i always think like the mobile streaming that we do like the irl is like there, we always knew there was something mm -hmm. but now i like understand like the actual like words to describe it and like the process of like where it's best used in a show and i have to talk to live view about that because there's like 
specific ways to use like mobile technology to add drama mm -hmm. that in like a modern day world where it's like live vlogging and you know like you could drop the camera maybe even on purpose and you're like ah or whatever you know like not that we would i'm just saying like you add drama yeah. and then there's conflict and then there's resolution you know and then there's the exit and then you're just like Oh, I just saw an actual like like there's a guy uh, there's a two different um, like like philosophers that talk about this and I'm not, I'm gonna get it wrong but like you know like there's a beginning middle and an end right obviously yeah. but in that process you know somewhere in there's a climax and you have to hit that or else you're just a boring screen share you know death by PowerPoint yeah you're just dead in the water you know yeah, you're just and, and, the, and do the, nothing the problem with live streaming mm -hmm. and video conferencing a lot of this technology is folks just aren't as comfortable mm -hmm. pushing the limits of what can be done um, and that's why it's still today when I watch live streaming pros and other great companies that talk about this tech and they're going over like how to show a social media comment on the screen and that seems basic to us but like there's so many people that need to like figure that out because yeah. like the, there's like the engaging how to be engaging how to be in, how to entice how to yeah. demand focus attention I think a, a good book or a good video we should make is um, uh, like how to be good at like honor talent yeah because like a lot of people in still regular, learning that yeah like people in regular companies they're just like uh like what like what are you well to that do? that is is actually legitimately going to be a focus of my of my next book oh really um, not necessarily but oh, so it's like a chapter it, uh yeah, yeah I mean I, I think a lot of it can be applied to being an on-air host so I want to mm -hmm. take some of that knowledge and apply it the um the research that I'm doing is more about staging an event Okay. Where all of those elements happen. You don't necessarily have to be the on air talent. You could hire Gary Vaynerchuk to get up right, there. Right. You know? But, like, how do you set the atmosphere? How do you um, make it so the audience has all their five senses appealed to? Nice. Now, with our live streaming audience, you know, you guys can't smell us and you probably don't want to, right? <laughs> Um, you can't taste us either, but like if you wanted to have a great event, you know, maybe and like really try to stir up and, and th that might be a technological boundary that we can overcome one of these days, right? Maybe we'll be able to have se smell meters smell, in here smell that vision. actually project to other people. Who knows? But, um, you know, we can definitely uh, go with the site yep. and the audio yep. and then... So there's sight, audio, taste, smell, and touch. PDZ Optics cameras will be smelling like chocolate chip cookies in 2030 yeah and, and and touch i will say is something that we can get close to by mm -hmm. zooming into textures and and you know michael has been like the pioneer of like the tech pat i call it but she's just so good at that it's like shoot the video pat the tech <laughs> It's right here. A gentle right touch. Here. A gentle test. You're, well, you're good with the gentle touch. Uh, I, I, the cameras seem to fall off the telemedicine cart when I'm, I'm on <laughs> behind the wheel. Anyway, we got a little off topic, but um, we're sitting pretty here in Pennsylvania, Westchester. It's a beautiful day. It, it feels is. like spring. The first day of spring is coming. It is. So we are trying to ride through the end of this winter, a strange global climate that we're dealing with, both... Uh, on a global warming standpoint, from a global health standpoint, from a global economic standpoint, this is a, str a crazy times, but we're s we always enjoy being able to connect with our online audience and build a community, especially in these times when it's like, you know, at least we have some friends online that we can, we can yeah. be with. Um, so much fun stuff happening soon. So I'm really excited uh, for all of that. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Tess, for kicking butt today. I'm not going to thank myself. You guys thank and thank me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, All right. Yeah, uh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay. That's our show, everybody. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe on that podcast if you're listening. Hopefully, this will be fun to chill out, listen to some quick, insightful stuff from three folks who barely know our stuff. <laughs> enjoy the best. Enjoy the rest of your week. We're making it through. All right. Take care, everybody.